welcome all of you for the new lesson of english so let me introduce myself before starting the lesson i'm hasru disanayaka i'm an undergraduate of faculty of agriculture university of Berlin. today we are going to talk about a new lesson that will help for you in your day-to-day -day life as well as for your all levels and a levels let's move perfect continuous tense what is this and what we have to learn on this topic we'll move on as usual there are three timelines that we have to talk present past and future in the perfect continuous tense also i have categorized the lesson into three present perfect continuous tense past perfect continuous tense and future perfect continuous tense let's move for the present perfect continuous tense this is also known as the present perfect progressive tense the main problem that all of us have is in where we have to use this we use the present perfect continuous tense to talk about something or some action that recently stopped or the action still continues imagine an action that you have started earlier and you have stopped recently so we use present perfect continuous tense to talk about them and also the past actions that may still continue so we have to use the present perfect continuous tense to talk about them also let's uh, see how we can uh, produce or how can we make a present perfect continuous tense so there is a small example that we have been singing so we don't have any idea about what this is let's talk so when you talk about the structure of the present perfect continuous tense usually it has a subject and auxiliaries and the main group so in present perfect continuous tense we use a subject we can use it is uh, either singular or plural so according to that we have to uh, change the auxiliary verb have or has as we know all the singulars we use as and the plurals we use have so uh, the next auxiliary is the be verb so in this case we use the past participle of the be that means be and simple we use the main verb in ing form or the present participle form so as the example given we have been singing as the structure it consists with a subject and two auxiliaries have or has and the auxiliary be verb in past participle it comes to be and the main verb it's a present participle and it gives simply its ing form so let's go through this example i have been waiting for you i is a plural so we have to use have I have been waiting for you. It means that the he or the person that described is waiting for someone. He started to wait in earlier and he is still waiting. You have been talking too much. He start to talk very, very big things or some things that he start to talk earlier and he is still talking. So it depicts the words or the some actions that have started early and continue until so uh then next one it has been raining for hours it has been raining for hours raining start from start earlier and still it rains we have been playing cricket we can understand that in two ways we have been playing cricket we were playing cricket in early and we stopped recently or we still playing cricket so as i mentioned earlier the present perfect continuous tense we can use to describe actions which were started earlier and recently stopped or the actions which were started and still continuing next one he has been practicing for play he has been practicing for play he was practicing or still he is practicing she has been painting the art she started to paint earlier and still painting or she has stopped the painting recently let's move on the examples i have been writing articles on different topics since morning i started 
to write articles in the morning and I'm still continuing that. He has been reading the book for two hours. He started to read the book two hours ago and he's still reading. They have been playing football for an hour. They started to play football an hour ago and still they are playing. She has been finding the dress since morning. She start to find the dress in the morning and is still continuing that. So, in these examples, you can understand that the present perfect continuous tense is used to describe some actions that still continuing or just recently stopped. I will go through the rest of the examples and you can understand the situation. He has been studying in the library for three hours. We have been shopping at this fair for two hours. We have been watching a movie in this simplex for two hours. You have been shopping in that market for three hours. So on. So you can go through the rest and understand what is the present perfect continuous tense. So let's move to past perfect continuous tense. What this past perfect continuous tense is? This is also known as the past perfect progressive tense. Tense which is used to show that an action started in past and continued up to another point in the past. So simply this describes an action which have started in the past and already stopped in the past. So I'm talking about the past action which has started earlier and Stop in the past too. So, how do we make the past perfect continuous tense? A sentence. So, structure of a past continuous tense is subject, auxiliary, and the main verb. Subject, as we talk about, it may be singular or plural. I, we, she, he, it, we can use. And First auxiliary, we use the past tense, it's had. Even if for the singular or plural, we use the had. And the second auxiliary, the beaver, we use the past participle as usual, it's been. And the main verb, we use the present participle or the ing form. Let's go through these examples. I had been working for exam. This is a past action. I start to work for the exam in a past and I have stopped after some times. That means this is a past action. I had been work, working for exam. You had been playing carom. You have start to play carom earlier and you have stopped that. So you had been playing carom. That means it's an action that talk about or the sentence that talk about past action. It had been working well. It had been working well. The time that we talk about, it was working. So it had been working well. In that time, it works well. We had been expecting her. We had been expecting her. We were expecting her in that time. So we used, we had been expecting her. He had been learning physics. The time period that we are talking about, in that period, he was learning physics. So he had been learning physics. She had been blaming the user. She had been blaming the user. She was blaming at that time, but not now and not before that too. In that perfect time, she had been blaming the user. That's simple. So there are some examples. We'll go through it. I had been writing articles on various topics for three hours. The time which we are talking about at that time, I was writing articles for three hours. In time period of three hours, I am writing articles. But now I am not writing. He had been reading different kinds of books since morning. He had been reading different kinds of books since morning. In that time, he was reading since morning. But now he is not reading. They had been playing football in that field before it started to rain. 
now it's raining but that time it's not raining now they are not playing but at that time they are playing that simple jane had been gossiping in the coffee shop for two hours at that time jane was gossiping with someone for two hours but now she is not i think you can understand these examples let's move through the examples quickly jeff had been studying in the library before he came to the class we had been shopping in that shop before we came home we had been watching a movie in this simplex for 3 hours so you can go through the examples i think it uh, you can understand those examples well let's move to the future perfect continuous tense we use future perfect continuous to show that something will continue up to until a particular event or time that means i can say an example uh, i can say an any action that i am going to start and there is a specific time limit that i am going to continue with that means i am going to stop that in a future so in those types of uh, actions we can describe using future perfect continuous tense how do we make the future perfect continuous tense? So we can talk about structure of future continuous tense. There's a small difference than others. We can go through it. As usual, there is a subject, I, we, she, he, it. And there is an auxiliary will because we are going to talk about future actions. So we use will. And we use the auxiliary have been. Even for singular or plural, we use have been. And the main verb, as usual, we use present participle. Let's move with some examples. I will have been working for four hours. That means there is an exact time limit. I'm going to work for four hours. After four hours, I'm not going to work. Such types of activities we can describe through future perfect continuous tense. You will have been traveling for two days. You are going to travel for two days. After two days, you are not traveling. And the next example, there is a special thing. I have discussed about all the positive formations of sentences up to now. But here we use, she will not have been using the car. She will not have been using the car. There is a negative formation. It's okay, you can use not after will to perform a negative sentence she will not have been using car she will not have been using car she's not going to use the car we will not have been waiting long that means we are not going to wait it. so that means we will wait for some time but not for long there is an exact limit and the next example it's about question for me i will discuss that in next few slides so examples for future perfect continuous tense i will not have been shopping in wednesday you can come to see me so that means in wednesday i'm not going to shopping there is a time limit that in that time i'm not going to do that so you can come will you have been making a cake in the kitchen i will talk about in future she will not have been seeing her because she is angry. She will not have been seeing her. She is not going to see her. That's a future one because she is angry. But it has a limit. Sometimes she will be okay. In after some time, you can go and meet her. When I finish this school, I will have been learning French for 10 years. When I'm going to stop this, I'm still doing that. And I have a time limit to do that. If when I stop it, I have been learning French for 10 years. It's also a future one. So you can go through the examples and you can understand it. Question formation. We talk about the positive things and negative things. And finally, we have to talk about question formation. So how can we ask a question from someone? In day-to-day -day life, we use these tests. We have to ask questions from friends and others. So we have to use it. And for the O level and A level, we know that we have a question formation part two. So we can use 
this or that also. So I have summarized all three timelines in one slide to describe you about the present perfect continuous question formation, past perfect continuous question formation, and future perfect continuous question formation. Let's move for the present perfect continuous. So in the structure of sentence making, we first use the subject, then the auxiliaries have as and the past participle of the B verb, and finally the main verb. In question formation, we use first the auxiliary have or has. That means have, has, then the subject. Has for singular, have for the plurals. Then the subject and the past participle of the B verb, and finally the main verb. As an example, has she been working has she been working then past perfect continuous first we use the auxiliary we have only one auxiliary for the past perfect continuous that's had and then we use the subject as usual then the past participle of the be verb and finally the main verb when we go to the first example had she been working had she been working. The future perfect continuous. In future perfect continuous, we use the will or the future verb first. That's a special difference among other two. We use the subject first, but here we use the will first. Then the subject. Then even it is a singular or plural, we use have been. And finally, the main verb. We can use the previous example. Will she have been working? Will she have been working? It's simple. Let's move to example. First three refers to present perfect continuous tense. Have you been reading? Has she been cooking? Has he been reading? It means are those actions still continuing or just before it stopped? or recently stopped as we talk about present perfect continuous we are discussing about some actions still continuing which have started earlier or recently stopped so in the question forming also we can see that they are still continuing or just recently stopped activity. then the second part you can see the examples for past perfect continuous tense in past perfect continuous tense, we discuss about the actions which have started earlier and already stopped in the past. So, let's move to the examples. Had she been crying? Was she crying at that time? That was the simple thing. Had they been playing? The time that we are talking, did they play at that time? And had he been sleeping? In the time, in that time, was he sleeping? We talk about a past action which have been started earlier and it already stopped now. The final part, the future perfect continuous tense. The actions that will going to stop in the future. Will you have been eating vegetables for three months? Are you going to continue or are you going to eat these vegetables for three months? After three months, no. So there is an end point. Will they have been practicing for two weeks? Do they going to practice for two weeks? After two weeks, they are not going. There is an end time. And will she have been cooking until midnight? Is she going to cook until midnight? There is a time limit. So, simply the summarized one. Present perfect continuous tense describe about the actions that have started earlier and have been already stopped recently or still continuing. The past perfect continuous tense, we discussed about the actions that have started earlier and already stopped in the past. In future perfect continuous tense, we are going to talk about the actions which are going to stop in future. Okay, I think you understood. So, Thank you for joining with us and we wish you best of luck. So, 
I think you gain a lot from this video.